Ah, spring has sprung. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the snow has melted, leaving dog poop and litter all across the city, and that means it's short season. Hey, so we are here with my lovely friend Erica, the owner of Sabros and Vintage. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm great. Amazing, thank, thank you so much for having us in your shop. I bought one of my favorite pairs of denim cutoffs here, but Amazing. probably around seven years ago, and then alas, they don't fit me anymore. Bodies change. Bodies change, you know? and that's okay, it's, it's a good thing. Totally. So you're gonna help me find and create a new pair. I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect cut to a pair of vintage jeans. Whenever I try to do that, I always like cut them uneven, right? and then I have like half my butt hanging out. Everybody on one does side. that. I will teach you my foolproof cutting technique oh, yeah. so that you do get that perfect cut. Not showing like too much, too little, or if you want to show too much. Maybe. Sometimes I like to get a too. little cheeky. No judgment. <laughs> One of my biggest struggles is they don't make jeans for real women's bodies anymore. They used to make jeans for women's bodies. Ah. In the 80s and 90s, jeans, like, kind of like what I'm wearing, really? sat really yeah. high. Embrace the curves. They're great because they really, like, hold your butt and your tummy. It's just like a little booty hug. This will be, like, the most action I've had in a long time. <laughs> And the trick to getting a perfect cut is to measure from the bottom up and to go a little bit longer on the inside. Measure down like this to four inches and then you do a little mark. Okay, okay. From that mark, yeah. measure from there to the bottom of your jean and then you've got the length. You're gonna do that exact same measurement on the other side. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So from the bottom up, here's where the, the finesse comes in. You're just gonna move it up a little bit, like maybe a centimeter. Ah. And that's where you're gonna do your mark so you get that slight angle upwards. I'll just do that for you. Amazing. There we go. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. So, the, and the reason we keep them a little bit long is uh, a lot of people want to roll their jeans now. So if you've got a couple yeah. inches, you can roll. Okay. Um, and if then, I do want that fringe frayed look, yeah. what can I do to achieve that? So all you have to do is wash the jeans okay. and throw them in the dryer and they will immediately fray beautifully. Okay, so let's get cutty. Oh, this is hard. I know, it's, it helps if you pull the jeans towards you. Hey. Okay. And it doesn't really matter. Okay, there you go. Girl, that looks so good. That's a perfect cut. And if, oh, what can I do with this if I didn't want to throw out this denim? If you wanted to recycle, you could roll it up and put it in a pair of boots to keep the boot barrels sturdy and straight. A yes. 90s scrunchie? Or just a, a trunk? Ah. How, do you, like how a, do you do an elephant sound? Like hey, Erica. Uh-huh. How, how do my jeans look? They, they, look real, they look really good. Oh, thanks. Thanks for your help. We did it. You going to try those on now? All right, are you ready for this? I'm so ready, let's see them. Okay. <gasps> Amazing! We did it! Not too shabby. Do a spin, it's on oh, the butt. Oh yeah, oh, oh beautiful yes. light cut. Thank you so much for having me in your shop, Erica. You're welcome. I loved having you here and I loved fitting you in these amazing shorts that yeah, you found. Yeah, a dream come true. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. If you liked it, don't forget to hit subscribe and leave me a comment below on how you recycle clothes. I love shopping on a budget, so if you have any tips and tricks, please let me know. Shop vintage. It's cool. <laughs>